Hello everyone, my name is Akash Pari and in today's video we are going to solve a question which is appeared in gate 2018. In this question we have a graph, a weighted graph where one of the values is missing. The value is x and the question is choose a value for x that will maximize the number of minimum weight spanning trees of g the number of minimum weight spanning trees of g for this value of x is that means we have to find a value x and for that x the number of minimum spanning trees that we will get that will be our answer so before going to the question let us just see what does minimum spanning tree represents so let's start with what do we mean by tree so tree is nothing but a graph which is acyclic you can also tell or say that it is a forest and suppose we are telling that if this is a tree then spanning spanning means in my graph suppose i have a graph g dash in my graph g dash i will have all the nodes so if i have all the nodes suppose i have a graph g which has n nodes then my graph g dash will also have n nodes and if this graph g dash which has n nodes if this graph is a tree then it should be connected and as I click that means if this is my node graph on four nodes then this can be a spanning tree because it is connected and as I click now in minimum weight spanning tree there are weight associated with the edges and we have to find a spanning tree in such a way that the sum of all the edges in that spanning tree is minimum. So let's just look it with an example. So there are two good algorithms which solves the minimum spanning tree problem. The one is Kruskal algorithm and the other is Prim's algorithm. So we will do this problem by using Kruskal algorithm. So what does the Kruskal algorithm does is it sorts the edges of the graph based on their weights. So it sorts the edges of the graph based on their weights. And then as you have to find a minimum weighted spanning tree in some, in some cases you can find a maximum weighted spanning tree. So if I am finding a minimum weighted spanning tree I will sort the edges in ascending order and after sorting the edges in ascending order I will pick one edge which has the minimum weight and I'll put it in the graph and then I'll put another uh, I will pick another edge which is minimum weight and put in the graph until I find an edge by putting that edge I create a cycle in the graph if I'm getting a cycle in the graph I will not put that edge I will throw away that edge and I will take another edge and I will put it in the graph as long as I am not getting the final tree. So the graph should be ultimately connected. So I will, this is the Kruskal algorithm. And using this Kruskal algorithm, we can find a minimum weight spanning trees. You can just Google it or you can find in any book what does Kruskal algorithm does. Now, coming back to our question, so coming back to our graph, we have this graph. And we have to find this value x. This value can be anything such that after finding this value x, the number of minimum weighted spanning trees that we get are maximum. So just let me just tell you one property of graph. If all the edges of a graph have distinct weights distinct weights then the minimum spanning tree obtained 
is always unique so this is one property of graph that if all the edges of a graph have distinct weights then the minimum spanning tree of the graph is unique so in this case we don't know what will be the value of the graph so but we can just put it one by one and we have to check so this is a brute force way of doing it you can say so let us just mix this this graph in another place so suppose i am making this graph again so this is my graph and the weights are 4 4 1 4 2 3 4 and i i have to put some weight so let me start by because you have to minimize it let me just put one here and find the minimum spanning tree that i'm getting with this using suppose i'm using kruskal algorithm then what will be minimum spanning tree so the minimum spanning tree which i will get so i will have all these nodes then first i will pick one so i pick this one then i will again pick one so i again pick this one now there is no two i will pick 3 so i'll pick 3 and then i will pick so i have to connect this graph so one way is that i can connect it this way by 4 or the other way what i can do is all the edges will remain same because they don't have any option but i can connect this edge this way because this weight is also 4 so i can take either this 4 or this 4 the weight of my graph will remain same so if i choose one then i am getting two trees so we have to find this what what value will be here instead of this one there can be another value so that this number of tree maximizes this is our main question so if we take one we are getting two trees let us just make it two and see how many we are getting so if we have 2 then we can see that we will pick this 2 first we'll pick this first we'll pick this one as 1 and then we'll pick this as 2 then we'll pick this as 3 and we can again we have four two options for four we can either pick this or we can either pick this one so again if we take the weight as 2 we are getting two spanning trees so for one we have got two spanning trees and if we if we take the weight as 2 then we are also getting two spanning trees now let us just take weight as 3 so if i take the weight as 3 then the spanning tree one of the spanning tree which i can get is 1 3 3 4 or again i think it will again will be same 1 and 4 so again if i take the value as 3 i will get two spanning trees one is this and the other is this and you can observe that if you take 4 if you take the weight as 4 then again you will get two spanning trees let us just see that so if i take the weight as 4 then again i can i will get two spanning trees so first i will pick the least weight that is 1 then i will pick 3 then i will i have to join this so i have only one option because either i will pick 5 or if i will pick 4 but 4 is least so i will pick 4 and now again for this node i have two options i can either pick this or i can either pick this So I will again make two minimum spanning trees. So we have seen that if we take the weight as one, two, three, or four, the number of spanning trees will be two. So let us just take the value as five and see how many spanning trees we get. So if we take the value as five, then let us see how many spanning trees do we get. So again i have to take this that means 1 then i have to take this that means 3 and now for connecting this 
node I have two two edges I can either pick this edge or I can either pick this edge so let me just pick this edge so I will get this one is 5 and let me so if I get this one is 5 and for again this for this I have two option I can either pick this or I can either pick this so let me just pick this one right now so this so I've created one graph so another graph which I can which I can create is this one that I will so one and three are fixed they don't have any option but for this age I can pick this five and I can keep this four so this is one another graph and again I think you must have guessed the answer because for two nodes we have two two options so two, two to the power two the answer should be four but let us just complete it for the sake of completion so again what I can do is that I can again pick this edge five because for the other edges I don't have any choice I have one and three and let me pick this edge this time so I will get another graph and one last combination that I can get is 1 and 3 which are common and now I can pick this edge which is 5 and then I will pick this edge which has weight 4. So you can see that we have got 4 graphs when we have the weight as 5. One is this graph, then this, then this and then this. So, when the weight is 5, we have got 4 graphs. So, now the question is, what will happen if I have weight as 6? Suppose now I have weight as 6. So, if we increase the weight, will I get more than 4 graphs? Because if I get more than 4 graphs, then I will take it because the question asks for the same. So, just see. Let us just see what will happen if I have 6, the weight is 6. <laughs> then, this weight as 1 I have to take and 3 I have to take and then from this 2 I will take 5 and then from this 2 I have just 2 options for this node I don't have any option and now for this node I have 2 options that means I will get 2 graphs either this or this so I have 2 graphs so my number of graphs the number of spanning trees will be maximum when I will take the weight as 5 and I will get 4 nodes, 4 spanning trees. So the value of x will be 5 and the number of spanning trees will be 4 which will give the maximum weight spanning trees, maximum number of minimum weight spanning trees. Thank you very much.